So you know those stories that you kind of hear once in a while? I'm sure you've heard of these where someone was like, oh, I was in a deep slumber and then out of nowhere I was awoken with this fantastic idea and I went and finished the latest Limp Bizkit album or something like that and it's like this magical thing. That I used to think that that wasn't really true because it kind of does happen to me but with like the dumbest ideas. For example, I woke up with this question wondering what organic sound, and this is a challenge for you too, what sound in the organic world that happens naturally has sustain or uses sustain? Because, I mean, as most of us know, sustain is literally just how, how uh, loud a sound will be as the note is held down. And this is for anything because like when you hold down a piano note, it does exactly this. It kind of fades away, right? And I'm guilty of this. Uh, when I'm doing sound design, I just want to hear the sound. So I turn the sustain all the way up, meaning when I hold down a note, the, the sound will always be there until I let go, right? And if there's no release, it's really fast. But I've been playing, you know, with the Nord, as you've been seeing lately, a lot more. And I'm like, man, this is such dynamics and this is really cool. And then I started listening to like some lo-fi house tracks that came up on the SoundCloud algorithm. And they were so boring. It's just this giant wall of sound because they got the sustain turned all the way up, a little bit of attack, no decay, a little bit of release, some reverb, and it's just like. It's like, uh, it's just, you know, and again, I'm guilty of this. And maybe this is the sound they're going for, but we can take this and turn it into something a bit more soothing, I guess. And here's a hot take. I think, no, I'll probably regret saying this, but I think I'm fine with an ADR envelope. I don't need sustain. Sustain introduces problems. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm just talking out my ass now. Okay, anyway, let's, let's take this sound to something pretty, right? We'll say attack. But see, it still is just fully there. So I wanna say, use the sustain to say, where do I want this volume to land? And honestly, I want the volume to eventually go away. So that's why I'm gonna use decay instead to let that kind of fall out on its own. See, and it's still going. Because if I wanted, we can use sustain and say, eventually I want the volume to come down to here, right? And let me be clear. Sustain when it comes to amplitude, AKA volume, amp envelope, that, that's the mainly where I'm talking about this. Modulation envelopes, modulation sustain, when it comes to the movement of other parameters on a synthesizer, it could be pretty powerful. Because if we were to say this sound, right? Let's add a little decay. I'm getting way too ahead of myself as usual. This is like a, well, you can hear that the decay happens as soon as attack goes to full attack, max volume. And how quickly does the decay fall down to the held sustain set volume? You, you still with me? We can do really fast. So it sounds kind of weird here, right? But what we'll do is I'm gonna turn the filter down and we'll go to mod envelope one and I'm gonna turn this up. So mod envelope one, I'm gonna do what we just heard volume wise, but modulation wise. Everything's down, right? And I'm gonna add a little bit of attack and a little bit of a decay. So this should, in theory, make kind of like a pluck sound on just the filter at the beginning. You hear that? A little more. Oh. Without that. With the filter all the way up. Right, say so you apply this negatively. Almost adds like a gated kind of uh, sidechain sound. And you can play, play around with these here. You can still hear that there's a little bit of a bite right at the beginning, like a bow wah, bow wah, to get rid of that bow sound, the technical term there. It's the attack on the envelope because the sound, the volume of it is coming before this modulation has a chance to clamp down the sound. So you can make more of a bite or less of a bite by turning the attack up. But at this point, you might as well just have this attack up and just turn this down. But if you like that, well, well, that's really cool with a little bit of attack decay. Right? But 
honestly, that's in a sense kind of what I wanted to talk about was using sustain to move things around and just the envelope as a whole. It's so powerful. Again, I'm guilty of just saying, all right, let me do some sound design, just turn the sustain up, get rid of all this and just kind of focus in and hone in on the sound that I want, right? So maybe I want some like ring modulation to go on between one and two. See, this is cool, but there's no movement to it. So with it being held here, I'm gonna just turn the sustain down a little bit. And I'm gonna use the amp envelope, which is, oh, by the way, I'm using the Launchpad Pro, I'm using Peak, I work at Novation. This isn't a commercial, that's my day job. I'm just here trying to chill. But this is, I just know this like the back of my hand, so it's really easy. And all of these parameters can, I'm pretty sure you can find majority of these on any synthesizer if it's worth buying. Maybe even some that are, aren't worth buying, um, too expensive or something. And even soft synths like plugins and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just use the amp, the same exact volume to just move the filter around and turn the resonance up a little. All right, let's add a little high in there. already just has a little bit more dynamic to it. And again, we're just messing with amplitude. You start applying this to other parameters with using the mod envelopes and it's like game over. For example, if we add sustain, this is actually really fun. Um, Let's see, how do I want to do this? This will be the last one. So I'm going to initialize this patch as pretty as, pretty as it is. So I'm going to use sustain to pluck FM between two, synth to, between two oscillators and land exactly where I want it to. And that's going to be with sustain. So first and foremost, I need to turn on, um, where is it at? It's under voices, I believe. I've talked about this a long time ago. Where's the oscillators? It's the wave reset, uh, key sync. So this is every time I hit the key, the oscillator is gonna start exactly at the zero phase point as opposed to oscillators just running freely in the background. If I lost you there, don't worry, you'll be fine. Um, so right now we're just listening to one oscillator, but I want to pitch that down. And now we're gonna go to our mod matrix and I'm gonna send um, destination. The destination is gonna be oscillator three into oscillator one's pitch. So FM three to one. It starts getting a little wild, right? We'll just use two sine waves. So check this. This is the pitch, right? I can now use a mod, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on, Enrique? Oscillator three. Oscillator 3's pitch is moving the frequency, frequency modulation of oscillator 1. So if I move oscillator 3 while holding a note, right, it's doing all this crazy stuff. I can now send mod envelope 1 to move this oscillator's pitch, oscillator 3. But by default on here, mod envelope 2 is already here, so that's going to save me some time. So I'm going to turn mod envelope 2 all the way down. And I want to find the sweet spot using sustain by turning this up a little bit. Nothing should happen, right? And if I turn sustain up, this is going to be moving the pitch up of oscillator three. Maybe I like that. Now I can pluck this sound into existence. So right now what's happening is it's going pitch all the way up, decay, once it hits top, it's going to fall straight to the sustain. So it's basically skipping the decay stage. I go here, right? Oh man, I hope you have some subs. Okay, now let's take a tack out of it. 
Little less decay. And this little pluck, this is what makes FM synthesis so good is that there's all these tiny little details that we don't even know. We don't even realize is happening, but all of them add up to a bigger picture. That little pluck at the beginning without it. Boring. Just the hammer, right? Sustain. You might be using it wrong. I use it wrong all the time. I do everything wrong because there's no rules. So just continue to make music and have some fun. I'm gonna leave it at that. I just wanted this one to be quick, short, to the point. Hopefully, hopefully we got there. I appreciate you kicking it till the end. And uh, yeah, hope to see you again next week. Um, appreciate you a lot. If you wanna support the channel, of course, I sell some merch, but you kicking it is more than enough. And until then, you already know the drill. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. All right, let me just get this thing ripping and then I'm gonna dip. <laughs>